guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to do a super quick beach tutorial on what I do when I go to the beach. So I thought I'd show you guys. It's very bright. There's the sun, it's just rising. Oh, it keeps disappearing, but let's get started. I use for SPF my moisturizer, Feel Good Factor by Soap and Glory. It's 25 SPF, so it's great for your skin to be protected under the sun. And I've got lots of this on. over my face. The sun's just coming up now. You can go in with some tinted moisturizer. I prefer NARS um, Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. I'm kind of St. Moritz in medium one, but today I'm going to leave that out. But if you guys want a bit of coverage, I would recommend something like this. I like to carry this around with me. It's the NYX eyebrow kit, only because it literally has everything you need to do your eyebrows, including the brow highlight and, and the brushes. So all I do is put a little bit of highlight under my brow bone just to give me a bit of definition and if you're someone who doesn't have thick eyebrows you can obviously fill your eyebrows in or if you are somebody who does have quite good eyebrows you don't need to do this step at all I'm just slightly filling it in there we are there's the sun poking its head out. <laughs> you can do concealer at this point. I use the NARS Creamy Concealer. And if you was going to use it, I would literally, depends on where your dark circles are really. I just use it on the inner part and just lightly blend that out. Don't want too much because if you're in the sun, you, it will cake up because you'll be sweating. So you just want a little bit just to brighten up the inner part of your eyes or wherever you feel you need it. I am then going to use Kiko's Essential Bronzer in 201 Sienna Melange. And I use this just for contouring a bit of my cheekbones. Just to show that I've got a little bit of shape. And a little bit of colour too. And then going with my favourite highlighter, Becca Cosmetics. And this is in the colour Opal. Use a fan brush because I find it easier to apply. Highlight and I'm just going to put this right at the tops of my cheekbones and a little bit on my temples. And this under the sun will glisten really nicely. Give you a natural glow. We're going to keep the skin as clear as we can so not too much product, so not too heavy either. So we've got lips. I love Burt's Bees, and I've got all their flavors. And this one is in honey. Always carry the balm with you. Don't want dry chocolate lips. And today I'm gonna to be using matte Chatterbox. I always choose a bright color, because this is something easy that you can take off during the day if you're on the beach, and put on as quickly too. I'm just lining my lips with a pink lip liner. There you go. The sun's rising. So you put lots of lipstick on, and this gives you that tan colour too. It's a beautiful pink. You've got your lipstick on, last thing is mascara. You don't need to put mascara on. I love um, Avon's Big and Daring because it's got a rubbery texture and it doesn't flake and it's a bit difficult to take off. So it's not waterproof, but it does come off eventually when you wash your face. It's just that it doesn't peel or flake or anything in the sun, which is a great mascara to have on the beach. Just need a little bit, not too much. Well, depends on how you like your mascara. Don't be scared to go a bit more daring on the beach when it comes to not wearing as much. Less is definitely more when you're out in the sun because the sun gives you a healthy glow anyway. So if you're wearing less makeup, it's all the better. So this is the finished look. Oh, let it focus so you can see. I'll zoom in a bit. A bit of mascara, brow highlight, so a lot of highlighting um, on my cheeks too. It's 
a bit dark at the moment. Let me try this side. There you go. You can see the highlight on this side and with a bit of contouring, a bright colored lipstick. You can use any lipstick you like. I tend to go for creamier textures than matte because you will be out in the sun and it will be really hot. <laughs> um, don't forget to use your SPF. I use alloy sunscreen spray. This is 30 SPF by Forever. Um, it's uh, aloe based uh, sunscreen. I also use the Charles Worthington Sunshine um, Hair Leave-In UV Protection. So this you literally just spray in your hair and it gets protected from the sun and it doesn't kind of dry out your hair. When you're out and about on the beach, try to carry a little makeup bag, something like this. I know exactly what I got. Tissue, lip balm, lipstick for touch-ups and the lip liner. Uh, a little mirror, because you never know when you might need a little mirror just to see if everything's okay. And that's it. You can carry some wet wipes as well, just in case. Thank you for watching The Sun Come Up With Me and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!